A Massachusetts judge is finding herself on the wrong side of the law. She has just been indicted for allegedly helping an undocumented immigrant avoid an ICE officer who was waiting outside her courtroom. Federal prosecutors stressed today that the arrest of this judge and a trial court officer who uh, allegedly assisted her has nothing to do with politics. This case is not intended as a policy statement, at least not beyond making the point that the laws have to apply equally even if you're a state court judge. So no, we did not bring this case in response to the public debate over immigration enforcement. There are reasonable arguments on both sides of that debate, but this isn't a policy seminar, it's a law enforcement action. CNN's Jean Cazares is following the story for us. And so th th this happened last April, involves this uh, immigrant from the Dominican Republic wanted on drug charges. So. How was he around? How were they able to get around the ICE officer? This is an amazing story, according to prosecutors. Now, the judge is District Court Judge Shelley Richmond Joseph, and she has been federally charged herself with obstruction of justice, conspiracy to commit obstruction of justice, and perjury, uh, to name a few of the charges. And the, the, the story goes back to the beginning, which is important. There was uh, a man by the name of Jose Medina Perez, and he had entered the country two times illegally, 2003 and 2007, deported both times. After that, an order by an immigration judge in the United States said that he could not enter the country again for 20 years. He did enter the country again a third time. He was arrested in Massachusetts last March for a narcotics charge and also as a fugitive out of Pennsylvania. Once arrested, his fingerprints were put in the system, and that allowed ICE to realize, just through the electronic system, that this is the person we have an order for that is not to come back into this country. So one month later was his arraignment on the narcotics charge and the federal warrant uh, as a fugitive out of Pennsylvania. The ICE agent walked into the public courthouse, told everyone that he was there, from the clerk to the defense attorney. He sat in the public area, and that is when then the arraignment proceeding began. And I want you to listen to prosecutors today out of Massachusetts as they describe what happened next between the judge and the defense attorney. Told Judge Joseph that if AS was released, ICE would pick him up. Judge Joseph replied, quote, ICE is going to get him, unquote, and seconds later ordered the recording equipment turned off. The judge and defense attorney then conspired to have AS released out the back door of the courthouse to avoid the ICE officer. When the recorder was turned back on, defense counsel asked for permission to accompany AS downstairs to lock up on a pretext, to which Judge Joseph agreed. So what happened next? The audio is turned back on. The defense attorney said, Your Honor, I do need to take him downstairs to continue to talk with him through an interpreter. Prosecutors say that was a ruse to get him to the back door. They opened up the back door. He left. The ICE officer remained there for a long time, believing, with that warrant in hand, immigration warrant, that he was going to be exiting the courtroom. He did not. Hmm. Now, the ACLU has responded to all of this today in the judge's behalf, saying the Department of Justice's decision to bring this case is preposterous, ironic, and deeply damaging to the rule of law. She was arrested today, along with the court clerk that allowed uh, the gentleman that allowed them to go through the back door, uh, but they were not put in handcuffs. They turned themselves in. What a story. Jean, thank you very much. Yes. Jean Casares.